then I'm also going to show you how we do our booking process. OK, oh, it should come on here. There we go. So just so I can introduce myself, I am Jennifer with Travel Pros and I have been friends with you guys. I don't know how long and been sending your family on many, many trips. And we have Glenda here tonight, too. She actually put the presentation together and she was just like, wow. And Glenda started at Travel Pros, what, 2009, I think it was. <laughs> and then she moved to Houston and she works out of um, Travel Pro South. So when you guys are sending in your questions or reservation forms, Glenda is here to help me and help you guys, you know, answer everything in a timely manner. Sometimes I get a little tied up and so she can reply to you. So when the email comes through, it's from both of us. So you definitely feel free if you call the 425-3737 number, you know, you may get Glenda on the phone, even though she's in Houston. Okay. So now you get to see us. All right. <laughs> so what I'm going to st um, start with, I'm going to share my screen and I got to figure that out and I'll show you this wonderful presentation. All right. Let's see here. Do we need to mute? Huh? Do we need to mute? No. Okay. <laughs> if you have any questions, you know, you can just um let me know. Okay. All right. Look how pretty this is. And it just makes me want to just go right now. The water is absolutely this color that I'm showing here on my screen. We Everyone can see it, right? No, no. What is? I see a reflection on you. Oh, you do? <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if Jennifer can figure this part out. All right. Let's see here. Browse my OneDrive. Share screen. How's that? There you go. All right. And then I'm going to hit this as present. There you go. Oh, okay. All right. So all these beautiful colors and, and that's really what it's about. Um, Aruba itself. Has anyone been there before? Maybe on a cruise? Yeah, cruise. So you kind of get an idea about the island. It's not very big. It's only six miles long. So to get from the airport to the hotel won't take you but a minute. But you also notice there's not a bunch of palm trees. What they have there is called divvy trees. So they're only really six feet tall, maybe max in height. So if you have never been to an all-inclusive before, what, in, what is included is your food, and that's a la carte style dining, as well as your drinks, including alcohol. If you don't drink, it's okay because it's really the mixes that's the expensive part. So if you want orange juice or chocolate milk, you can have as many of those as you want. But also if your beer gets warm, you can just get another or a pina colada. Cause you know, I like to drink those fast. <laughs> and if it melts, then I go ahead and just order another. Let's see, we have somebody waiting in the lobby. I let her um, in. I got her. You do. Thank you. It was Lynn. Welcome, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Thank Hello. You for joining us. I'm at the airport, so I'm going to have to go on mute because it's kind of loud. Okay. Well, if you have any questions, you just let us know. And we just started the presentation. Okay. Also, I wanted to go back. Um, how do I hit the back button? Let's do that. Entertainment and activities. One of the things I loved about the Barcelo when I was there, they do put on like Las Vegas style show um, where they have like a little auditorium where they do their performances. And then activities, they always have like a daily list of things that's going on. So you can play volleyball, play bingo. Um, they also have a casino on site. The casino is not included, of course, but if you decide that you do want to play, you might win some money. So part of the all-inclusive program, 
at this resort has seven restaurants and three bars. Your meals, snacks, and unlimited drinks. You get a welcome drink upon arrival. Room service if you're in the royal level category. If you have children, kids club from ages four to 12. Natural style swimming pool with two hot tubs. Shows and evening entertainment with live music in the lobby bar. Now, they have different room categories. We have the deluxe, which is going to, and I'll show you that room category, which is going to be a garden view. And then they have a category that's called the royal level. Now, the royal level is going to give you room service, um, check-in, personalized check-in, concierge, and nightly turndown service. Admission to the royal level lounge, which includes the private gourmet restaurant. So this means this restaurant is only available for the people in the royal level. They have their own premium level drinks, priority reservations in the a la carte restaurants, and Wi-Fi. See here. So, I have a question. So it's only Wi-Fi on the royal level? No, you'll have Wi-Fi in all the levels, I believe. Let's see, sports and leisure activity programs. If you play tennis, beach volleyball, water polo, aquatic gymnasium, diving classes, snorkeling equipment available. You can snorkel right off the beach there. That water is very calm. And then you also have kayaks. And since you guys um, have been to some of the all-inclusives, it's very similar to what you guys have had in the past at your resorts. Um, daily program of day and nighttime activities on the beach or around the pools, shows and evening entertainment with live music in the lobby bar, diving classes around the pool, which is twice a week. They have new, a new gymnasium and all tips and fees are included. Now, where this picture is here at the bottom left hand corner, See how nice and wide that beach is? That beach is actually bigger than the one in Negril. When you guys went to Beaches Negril, mm -hmm. it's wider than that. Mm -hmm. And then all see these trees are like they they do have some palm trees that shows in here, but they're probably planted. They're not naturally grown. Um, but these are called papillas. These um, are like umbrellas that you get to sit underneath. You know, they have the straw on top. Mm -hmm. And then they'll have the chairs. It is first come, first serve where it comes to the chairs. And one of one of the negative things about it is people will go out first thing in the morning and they will go ahead and put their stuff down. They do have a rule that if people are not there within two hours of them putting their stuff down, you are allowed to move it. And since you guys are traveling with a large party, you're definitely going to want to like section off any of it so everybody can um, be together. It says um, direct access to the beach where it offers bar service and equipment rentals and classes with instructors to practice water sports such as windsurfing, kite surfing, snorkeling and scuba diving. So there is actually a beach bar down here. Um, I think it's in this vicinity right here that you'll be able to find them. I don't know if anybody wants to take any of those classes. I would spend most of my time here at the pool. That's like, I love pools. Uh, the natural swimming pool is shaped like a lake surrounded by rocks and tropical palm trees, giving the sensation of sunbathing in the middle of nature. And one of the things, I don't know how you feel about iguanas, but you will find iguanas on these rocks. Mm -hmm. So I just don't want you walking by and being surprised when you see one. <laughs> they, they can actually be kind of large. They won't bother you, but you, I don't, I just wanted to mention it. So don't freak you out. They're adorable, but they're, yeah. If you want to feed them lettuce, you can, but they're not going to bother you. Um, casino gaming. This is fun for me because this is one of the games I like playing three card poker. 
Um, it has American Roulette, Blackjack, Three Card Poker, 120 gaming machines, meeting point to, um, to exchange cash for credit, and sports events in high definition. So I don't know if any of you guys are a fan of, uh, of casinos, but they can be quite entertaining. And they have penny slots. So I always think that's fun. All right, so here's your lobby. Uh, when you guys first arrive into the hotel, <coughs> of course, this is a little check-in area over here. Now, the room categories. The deluxe room is going to be on the ground floor with a patio. It says it's a four person capacity, but in all room categories, it's three adults maximum. So you can have two adults and two children, three adults and a child, uh, but it's a four person um, capacity with three adults max. So we have, um, this is the deluxe, and then a deluxe sea view, which is actually our ocean view. And if you notice, when you're looking outside, it's not going to be a front on ocean view room. It's going to be towards the side because of how the buildings are located. They're um, perpendicular to the water. They do have royal ocean front rooms that are going to be on the very front of the building facing the water those are the only ones that are going to give you a true oceanfront room these levels are going to be on the third and fifth floor then you have a deluxe sea view and pool view so where the building's perpendicular this the deluxe sea view is not going to be facing the pool you need to be in the deluxe sea view and pool view for it to be facing the pool as well. So, this is the Deluxe front view with hot tub. And if anyone is interested in this room category, of course I can give you a price for it. You also do have a balcony, a hot tub, and you're on the sixth floor. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Royal Level Luxury Sea View. So it's going to have that ocean view. It's going to have a balcony, upper, upper level in the North Tower, and it has the Royal Level services and facilities. Here it's only a king bed offered. So you can only have two people capacity, or one if, if a single is going. You can also get two connecting rooms where one room is going to be a king bed and then the other room is going to have two doubles. Now the deluxe lanai swimming pool view is going to be two double beds or a king. Again, it says four person capacity, which that is three adults max. It's going to be on the pool, um, sorry, ground floor with a pool view. So that's where you get the little patio outside. <clears throat> and then you have one that's going to be the garden view side. So again, being perpendicular, it's going to be on the side not facing the pool. Now, if you like, you can always move up to a room that's gonna have a separate living room with a sofa bed. It is larger, it's 818 square feet. Um, you're in the upper floors of the North Tower. Ocean view balcony with the Royal Level benefits. How pretty is that? Ooh, yes. Yes. Tours yep. on island that are additional. All right, so if you guys decide that you wanna leave the um, resort and take a group tour, Baby Beach is um, off-road safari. Uh, adult is $99 per person. And for children ages four to 12, it's $70 per person. It, the tour itself lasts for seven hours. We can pre-book this for you, but they'll also have a desk for you 
inside of the resort where you guys can schedule um, individual tours. If you're doing a group tour, we should probably do that ahead of time because we want to make sure we have something that can accommodate everyone. Caves and snorkel off-road safari. Aracock National Park, that's where the caves are located. You can get a natural fish pedicure. Have you ever done that before? Mm -hmm. Where you put your feet in and little, little fishies eat, eat your skin off? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it tickles. I think Glenda's had it done before, haven't you, Glenda? I think she's still on. No, she's muted. <laughs> oh, natural pool off-road safari. I did this one before. It is pretty incredible. But you want to make sure when you go on it, um, it is, you want to make sure you have the proper shoes on. You don't want to go with just flip-flops. The rocks can be a little bit uh, slippery. Um, and so you want to be able to walk down it. They didn't like pave it or concrete it in. It's all natural. So you just want to make sure again that you, you do wear the right pair of shoes. Transfers from the hotel are included in all the tours. So they will pick you up, of course, as a group or individual and take you and then bring you back. The snorkel adventure. So that's always fun. You get to go aboard the spacious Palm Pleasure, a 70 foot long and a 40 foot wide catamaran. You'll get treated to three snorkel stops, open bar, lunch and beautiful views. And the adult is per, per uh, $99 per person. Child is $68, ages 3 to 12. Let's see. And then you have the afternoon delight. Have you ever done the snuba? That's where they actually put the helmet on you and they blow air in there so you can go all the way under the water. Okay. I've yeah. seen something like that. I think that would be fun. I haven't done it yet myself. But I'm not a good snorkeler. I can't like dive under the water to go see the fish and blow my, you know, the water out. I just mm -hmm. like float on top. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I just look down. Um, oh, the Atlanta submarine. Now this is pretty cool. Um, that way the whole thing has air being blown in there and you get to sit inside and see all the uh, fish. Now the natural pool is something like this. See how the rocks are? That's I just you you can walk down there, but I just want to make sure you have the right shoes. And the ATV bugging. I don't know um, who's going to drive, but I know that they don't go too fast, so it won't won't take off on you. Oh, and there's the flamingos. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you guys saw them when you guys were there before, but I think that would be pretty inc incredible. So De Balm, uh, De Palm is the tour company, and they have their own island. So you can see the water slides, the pools, the activities, and the flamingos. Uh, for the full day, they'll pick you up at the hotel and drop you back off. It's an all-inclusive experience, so include your food, Beverages, water park, banana boat rides, snorkeling, including gear and instructors, kids water park, and a whole lot more. Mm. Yeah. So, and this is the end of this presentation. Of course, it has our phone number. And then my next thing is I am going to show you how I do my quotes. All right. Now, I did this one earlier. I'm going to start brand new. You can still see my screen, right? Mm hmm All right. So now, Cynthia, yeah. are you gonna, are your, uh, when are you, how many people are going to be in your room? I don't know. Well, I'm going to do it based on one, and then I'll do it based on two. Okay. All right. And so airfare will not be out until the end of this month. The calendar for flights, it works on a 330 day calendar. 
So I think it came out to like July 27th. I think I may have put on there. The flights would be, oh, actually it'd be a week later because the original date we were looking at was um, June 19th. But now we're looking at June 26th. So it should come out like the first week in August. You mean July? Um, we're in July now. Well, I got this little tricky thing here. Let's see what I can do. <clears throat> it would be from the day that you return. So if you guys were coming home July 1st, 22, and then I'll subtract 330 days. It would be August 5th would be the first date that air would be available. So right now I can just book the hotel and the transfers and the travel insurance. You do have to purchase the travel insurance at the time of making reservation for it to be valid. I do have other insurances, but it's not going to be for cancel for any reason. So if you decide at a later time that you do want insurance, we can do that. Now I have, um, you guys are going to be considered a group, so I didn't have to go through all the hotels. I can actually go through and um, it automatically will come up today because it has in here a little code that I use. So the bar slow all inclusive is the room, different room categories we spoke of. We have the deluxe, deluxe ocean view, deluxe pool view, royal level, and then let's see if they have that um, deluxe oceanfront with the hot tub. Now this is based on one person in the room. If you add a second person to the room, it does not mean that this price gets cut in half. This is only based on one person. So a deluxe room, I'll go ahead and select that. It does include your round trip transfers. And you'll see a little negative $50 here. This is called a group discount that we're able to give you based on the total price of your package. So this may end up going more, be more after we add the air on. But right now for 1307, uh, 1357, you're going to save $50. If you want travel insurance, I have the full protection plus, which is the full travel credit. If you chose that one, it's $74.99. If you wanted the cash back feature, you still get to cancel for any reason. It's $184.99. So this would be due with your initial deposit. I'm going to add that here. And then I'm going to go check out. And it tells you here how much additional it would be per room category to move up. So if you have a question like how much is the difference between a regular room and ocean view, I can do that for you. It's no problem. OK, so here is my payment screen. The total package land, which is hotel and airport transfers and travel insurance for cash back full refund is $1,491.99. Your initial deposit is $234.99. And then the balance won't be due until, I put on your invoice May 6th, because I always do it a week before it's actually due, because everybody likes to postpone it a little bit, and I have to make sure I don't reach this deadline, because they'll cancel your reservation for no payment. 
So I always do it a week before it's actually due. And then what I do is um, I add your first name, last name, and phone number. And also when we have your flights, I'm going to make sure that I have everyone's birth date and that their name on the reservation matches um, what's going to be on the airline ticket because we can't change it afterwards. Does anyone have any questions? I have a question about the insurance. What's the difference between the cash back and the regular credit? Well, the full credit, let me go to that and I'll show you. Um, both the cash refund and the full travel credit also give you additional coverage. Like if your bags were delayed, um, you missed your flight because the airline um, was delayed. All of those things are going to be the same between the two. But the, the only other difference is going to be one actually refunds you back to your original form of payment minus the cost of the policy. And one gives you back a refund. The other one gives you a credit that you have a year to use. And I do know that they extend those. Um, so as far as like the additional insurance you get, trip interruption. So a maximum benefit is 100% of the trip. So say that you guys are on your trip and you have to come home early because of a, an emergency they do give you the remaining amount back so you won't lose that reasonable expenses is a hundred dollars per day and that's going to be if um you had to pay out of pocket to like get uh toiletries or you know to help you with your airline ticket uh, misconnection it pays you a maximum of five hundred dollars what that is that's a maximum, so it's a per day amount from you missing your connection if you have to overnight at a hotel and it's not the airline's fault. Um, I like the uh, emergency accident and medical expense. Nobody wants anybody to get hurt on a trip, but if you ever had to go to the doctor and you don't have insurance, you actually have to pay that doctor out of pocket do you even get seen? So you definitely want to have some kind of medical coverage, and this pays up to $50,000. And then it also gives you some dental benefits. Most of our health insurance here in the United States does not qualify outside of the United States. I think the only way is if you're a, you, you are in the military. Is and then you have to go to a military facility. Per person um, or per reservation? You know, no, like per, 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 per person. Okay. And it's the it's being drawn by nationwide is who's backing the policy. Now, as far as a different type of insurance goes. We'll use this one as an example of what the difference would be. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Chubb Insurance, but we have a headquarters here in Enrichment. Um, they sell automotive um, home insurance, but they don't sell the travel part. They let us sell the travel insurance. So, Cynthia, this is going to be a single trip, and you live in Virginia. And you're over 18. I'm going to just put my birth date in here for now. Oh, three. Oops. Now, do you have anybody that's going to be over 60 traveling? <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm, I'm going to <coughs> Oh, Lord. 
I'm over. I just want to make sure our over 75. Oh, because it does go based on age and package price. Mm. So I'm going to just make up a year in here. It's nobody. I know that I just put Sylvia's um, <laughs> birth year, but I'm going to just put in here 1960 and I'll change it. So that way you can see a difference. All right. Policy holder. Yes. And Jennifer. Look. Because I'm going to just delete this, so it doesn't matter. Initial deposit, we're going to, what's today? Uh, 07, 11, 21. Trip start date, 6, 26, 2022. And then 7, 1, 22. And you guys are going to Aruba. Do they have that in here? Yep. And you're going to be flying there. I got to pick the airline. I'm going to just say it's American Airlines. And for now, I'm going to just put one traveler. Now, children are free on this kind of insurance, just so you know. And we're going to say that package was. I'm going to take that insurance off. So it's 1307. And then that makes your deposit only $50 per person. But after we add air on, you're going to then owe another $150 deposit when the air gets put on. So I just want you to be aware of that. All right, so it was 13.05, and I'm the primary traveler. I'm going to get my quote. Now, I want to show you the difference between these three insurances. Basic, yes, it's less, but you also get less benefits. I usually never sell this one, and I never sell the more expensive one. I always tell people to get the Travel Essentials Plus. So this amount, $82, you have to add $7 to it because they have a policy fee of $7. So it would be $89.06. You would, again, trip cancellation. So you get 100% of your money back of the money that you lose. Um, trip cancellation before your trip, you get 100% interrupted your trip you get 150 percent of your trip cost this gives you also 750 dollars for return air so you're halfway through your um, trip and you have to fly home and you're changing your plane ticket and it's going to come out of pocket say just 500 well the most they'll give you is 500 they're not going to give you 750 but if your tickets a thousand dollars more they're only going to give you the most $750. If you guys misconnect and you have to spend the night at a hotel, again, that trip delay, it's $150 per day. That helps you pay your um, incidentals with the hotel and toiletries and that sort of thing. And that's if it's an act of God. If it's the airline has a mechanical problem, then it's the airline's duty to give you a hotel voucher and a food voucher. But if it's an act of God, then um, that's where the insurance comes into play. Now, this is the part where I, why I like this policy better than this. The accident and sickness medical expense, the most they give you is 15,000 and you have to pay a $50 deductible. But over here, it's $50,000 of medical expense. They also give you emergency evacuation. Hmm. So that's really nice. Just for some crazy reason, you have to evacuate. They will pay up to 500,000. Well, here it's only 150. Um, let's see here. And then if purchased within 21 days of your initial trip deposit day one is the date of the initial payment made 
then you you get waived any kind of pre-existing medical condition. So they look back 90 days from the time you purchase your insurance. So if you've been to the doctor in the past three months and you haven't gotten your results back yet, then you just want to make sure you don't have anything that may cause you to have to cancel your trip. It also makes this your primary medical coverage. What happens with that is they always make you file a claim with your regular insurance first, which they'll deny you because they don't cover you outside of the country. Then you have to you can file with them and get your money back. This one takes all of that out of that. It gives you the primary coverage from the beginning. So all of this information, I can send it to you as well. Um, but this is not canceled for any reason. You have to actually have um, something tr tragic happen. But what I also like about this one is, um, I got to look at it, trip, um, I, go. I think if your job makes you work and you miss your vacation, I believe it covers you for that as well. Uh, but I want to find it in writing. Um, okay, here you go. You or your traveling companion is required to work during his or her scheduled trip. He, she may provide proof of required to work, such as a notarized statement signed by the officer of his employer. So that is a reason for you to be able to get your money back should you have to cancel. Um, jury duty, you know, that would be another one. But of course, it has to be if you became sick or your fellow traveler or immediate family. Do you guys have any questions on that? That may so just keep that in mind when you're choosing your insurance. Um, and I, some people will say, no, they don't want insurance, but please consider it because last year was horrible when people had to cancel and they didn't have insurance. Let's see. So if that would be the case, then your deposit would only be $50 and then it's held, and then once I add the air on in a couple of weeks, then you'll have a second deposit, and then you'll also need to purchase the insurance, depending on which policy you get. So, what other kinds of questions we um, do you guys have? I'm going to come back on and see you guys. Stop screen sharing. And... There we go. Okay, so I have I have a question. Okay. That was um, someone had asked were there any other discounts in this um, trip plan, uh, such as um, or military. military. Um, <laughs> retiring like um, not with this one because it's already a contracted rate and maybe I can show you where it's on there uh, let's see there we go okay so see this 48% um, discount is already reflective in the vacation price. So this is actually a new sale that just came out. And if I was to go to, let's see, barcelo.com or Barcelo Aruba, you're going to see a couple different room pricing in here. And I put it in here for Melissa actually earlier. I just want to make sure two adults, a five-year-old and a one-year-old. And let's see what kind of discounts. 
So let's say um, more information. Is anybody in the Army? You mean active duty or retired? Um, let's see. That's a senior. And let's see for oh, discounts, more information. If you're over 65 of age and now is the time for your life, um, on the hood, you have to prove you're at least 65 years old. And it does not tell me what the qualifications are for Army, but I'm going to see if I can find it a little bit further. We'll just do senior for now. And that's 65 and older or 70? 65 and older. OK, so when you go onto the Barcelona website, you have different rooms. Pay now. Exclusive buy rate with all inclusive. So this pay now means you have to pay it in full completely. Ooh. Yeah. This one. Exclusive Barcelo rate with all inclusive. No prepayment is needed. And it's 502 per night, excluding taxes and fees. Then you have a pay now all inclusive again. See how this is a Barcelo rate. This here is a they call it a regular sale rate. Because you have to sign up. Um, with their program to get this Barcelo rate. Now, pay at hotel with all inclusive. No prepayment is needed. It's $528 per night. So, if we were just to do the Barcelo guest, I don't even know if I can do it without having a lot. Nope, I have to create an account. Um, so really the only two that we can do is pay now all inclusive. It's 458 a night plus tax. And so this is giving you a $114 discount for the senior rate. And then I need to add transfers. And you know, to match apples to apples, I really should change this to an ocean view room because that's what they had um, with their other reservation. So let's go to just so I'm making sure I'm I'm doing apples to apples. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. You just do it as a brand new reservation. Let's do that. Well, let's do. Sorry, it's hot. There we go. So it is twenty four ninety three fifteen, and this is a pay now. So you would have to pay this in full. I'm going to go back and change it to the one that you can just like hold on to, and not have to pay it at one time. Um, and then I got to add your transfer in. All right, so and you see on here, this is a deluxe garden view. 
You got $131 off for being a senior. It's um, your taxes, transfers, more taxes. It's $3,020.76. And you can not have to pay that until you arrive at the hotel. You can hold, I think you get to pay, you might have to pay it 14 days beforehand. Let's see what it says. Yeah, it allows you to pay it when you get there. And if you don't show up, then they're going to charge you for one night. So you still have to hold it with your credit card. Now, the deluxe, you remember, is the Garden View room, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go over here. And Barcelo, I have them in the deluxe ocean view. Right? I have it for the same two adults and two children. It automatically comes with round trip transfers. And then I put the cash refund insurance on here. And see how much their insurance is? $439. If I was to take that off, the package would be 3366.97 minus 439.97. My price is 29.27. So I'm about $93 cheaper than what you can get it with the hotel directly. So does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sylvia. Uh -huh, that makes sense. Okay. So I just want everybody to know, you know, it's not that um, sandals and beaches, you know, they did a great job because nobody can discount their rates but themselves right and so they don't give a contracted rate to these suppliers they all have to have the same price across the board and so and i'm looking at you like you know i'm looking at you um, but the camera's up here <laughs> you're in this corner so they um so barcelo they make a contract with american airlines the transfer company and their hotel so when I get the air rates, it actually will then lower the cost of the hotel because now we're getting a contracted air rate too. Mm -hmm. So when I go book air, if I was to book it straight with American Airlines, you know, I just go to AA.com and I put Norfolk to Aruba in there. Let's just say, for instance, the ticket's $700 and it makes you have to pay it all at one time. Well, my air was probably going to be 650 or less. I'm just estimating, but you don't have to pay it all at once. You're able to make payments on it with your hotel. So hopefully that gives you an understanding. And then we also, after your deposits put on there, if you want to make monthly payments or you're like, Jennifer, take $100 out a month. As long as the package is paid for by May 6th, I think is what I put, which is a week before it's actually really due, um, then you're golden. So. And everybody, of course, has to have a passport, even the babies. So you got to work on that this year. Um, but I don't know. Aruba's fun. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now, I do have one comment to make when you uh, mentioned the passport. I had to do a renewal this year. <clears throat> yeah, I sent my renewal off in April. To date, I do not have my passport back yet. So, just an encouragement to um, 
Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the babies, they last five years. Right. So summer's yeah. probably come and due anyways soon. I don't know when her expiration is, but um, hers is twenty twenty three. Oh, good. Then she's fine. You need at least six months left on your passport for when you're traveling international um, because they want to make sure that you're not staying there. <laughs> so how about just not get on the plane? You know what I mean? It's just like, but they want to make sure that you have a minimum of six months left on your passport. Some, some places say three, but I just go ahead and say six um, because some countries, you know, I can go find out. If somebody had an emergency, like I only have a couple months left, but I wouldn't risk it. I'd just go ahead and get a new one. And I, I wouldn't wait later than December. Right. You know, okay. just in case they get a backup again. Any other questions? Do they have have the vaccine or do you have to be tested or good question um as of right now um you do have to have the negative pcr test before travel within 72 hours um if you're in a public area you do have to wear a mask um and that could change you know it is a little it's it's you know fluctuating right now um but i will definitely keep on top of that and let you know um barbados if you weren't vaccinated that you even though you had your negative covid test they would have they would quarantine you so you don't want to get to aruba and be quarantined so that that wouldn't be worth it um but hopefully by next year all of that's going to be done another great reason to have cancellation insurance Right now, you don't have to be vaccinated, but you do have to have your negative PCR test. Yes, even if you're vaccinated, you still have to have your negative PCR test. So hopefully that's going to change again. Hi there. Thank you for joining. I didn't even know he was on there. Mr. President, <laughs> oh, you saw his hat. <laughs> they um, so yeah, I would definitely. I'm gonna stay on top of that to make sure because some people aren't vaccinated yet, and some people are. But I do know that if you went to Velocity, that's probably the best place to get it, and, the, and your insurance does cover it. <laughs> After you make uh -huh. reservation, can you add somebody to it? After you make your reservation and, and your deposit, can you add somebody to that? Yes, um, but it doesn't guarantee that the price that you have or that room is going to be available to rebook it. Okay. Um, and the reason why is because it's a contracted air rate, a contracted hotel rate, and they may only have a limited amount of them. So they actually cancel your original reservation and they rebook you into a new reservation. Okay. Any other questions? How about you, Miss Glenda? Wrong button. I was trying to unmute myself. <coughs> oh, no worries. So I have to mute or they start barking, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I have no questions. All right, then. Well, just send in your forms, you know, fill them out as much as you can. You know, if you're not sure about somebody's legal information as far as their middle names go, um, if you can find that out, that would be wonderful. Because as soon as I book the air, that's what's going to, I can't change it after the fact. In the past, not with you guys, but another one um, group, you know, they told me his name was Rick. And it was Frederick. You know, you would think Rick is Richard, you know, mm. but she wasn't sure. And it was Frederick. And so, and she's like, oh, yeah, Richard's it. And then, so I made it that way. 
and um, come to find out. But we ended up getting it changed. But it, it is difficult, and sometimes the air the airlines are not so nice about it. So, and then of course birth dates and birth years. Um, yeah. So you can have a name change up until uh, you, right before you do the air fair. Like you can change the when it came, yeah, right? you can as long as the first person in the room stays the same. Okay. Um, because they they call them the lead passenger of the reservation. Okay. And so as long as that person stays the same, yes, you can change the second person's name. Honestly, brother, from the Rhode Island area. Yep. Okay. Are you driving again? Are you driving again? Are you driving up there? Driving his big truck. <laughs> you look like a oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so fill out the form and then I'll send you invoices on there. And then once you make your payment and I apply it, I manually apply it. So if it's a day or so and I haven't done it yet, it will happen. I just get backed up sometimes. And so it, it, I'll send you the receipt after I do apply it to your reservation. But Glenda's here with me too, so and she can do the payments as well. We work together as a team on everything these days, so it's not just my reservation, you know, it's it's our reservation together. So if I'm not available, you'll always have her to be able to contact as well. Yeah. So I have one other question, um, Jennifer. So let's say we have some, <clears throat> if they're able to go, if they're going to go, and we want to do a special event, we have some graduates that are coming up, graduations that are coming up for next year, and a possibility that they may be trapped. If we wanted to do some some special evening or any event or some sort. Some sort. We'll be able to do that, right? If we, uh, oh yeah, I can just contact the manager and see if they have any kind of um, you know, dinners or you know, cake or you know, balloons, you know, anything like that. But also, if you guys want to have um, a party or something like that, mm -hmm. okay, okay, yeah. I think that would be fun. So, do you also have? Do, I mean, well, does the resort also have um, like picture group pictures? And you know, we've done that in the past, and a group dinner, and all of that still applies. Yes. Um, I know like with beaches, they did give you each room their own photo from it. So I'm going to see if there's any additional bonuses they will give you guys um, as a group more than just the discount um, and then setting up dinner reservations without knowing how many people we have yet. Okay. You know, I can't give it a definite answer on it. What if you guys turn out to be like 50 people? <laughs> I mean, every time you post pictures from your past trips and stuff, and and people are blow it up, and they're like, "We're going, we're going, we're going." So you don't know; it may turn out that way. So I don't want to make any promises on the um, like everybody being able to eat dinner together, because that's one large group. But I can definitely find out all those details and make it very simple. Okay. Okay. And we have others who, uh, of course, tra may travel from different areas. So when they when they send their request, it will say where they're from, not necessarily. That's correct. They just need to tell me which airport they need to fly from. Okay. And then hopefully I can match it up because there's only so many flights to Aruba per day. That hopefully they'll be on that second part of the flight with you. So you guys arrive together. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they may want Delta if they're in Atlanta and you might be flying American, but American may come in lower from the people in Atlanta. So it's going to be who some people have frequent flyer points. So they might want to use those. 
Um, you know, so each, each that's why I like the individual yeah. reservation forms coming in because some folks might want to stay longer or stay, you know, only go for three nights. I don't know who wants to go on vacation for three nights, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're barely on the ground and you got to go home. Right. So, right. so what is this trip? Five nights? Yep, five nights, five. six days. So you leave on a Sunday and you come home on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So definitely feel free, uh, free to contact us. Email is always best. I can always email back quicker um, than answering the phone. Um, when I do get on the phone with the airlines and the tour companies, lately my hold time is six hours. Oh, yeah. Um, so I usually don't make those calls until it's in the morning. So that way I can get through hopefully quicker. But if I call the airlines later in the afternoon, I am stuck. So and I don't mind doing it. But I just saw um, I try to do multiple things with one phone call. <laughs> okay. um, can you say that one more time? How long was the trip again? Five nights, six days. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. When would the deposit be due? It's usually due within three days of the initial reservation. Okay. Yeah, so, so as soon as I send it over, and if by chance you don't make those three days, then I have to rehold it again. And I can't, I'm not sure if the price is going to be the same or not until I actually go to hold it. Okay, so when do you make the reservation? Well, if you sent over your form today, I went ahead and sent over the quotes today. So that means it would be due by um, the 14th. But if you don't okay. do the insurance right away, the deposit is only $50. That's correct. So those two that I gave you are for cancel for any reason, choices, one cash or one credit. And then the third insurance is for like a medical emergency, jury duty, something that can be documented. Um, you really don't have to buy that insurance until the time that you travel, but you will not get your pre-existing condition and it will not be considered your first insurance medical insurance so you really need to purchase it within 21 days of your initial deposit 21 days so how many different insurances is it well there's three three but i only have two i think yep then then i tonight i just showed you the chub and i can make sure i put that into the group chat too and and i'll send you the policy on that it costs less but it gives you more coverage. It just doesn't cover you to cancel for any reason. So we did we have before um, when we planned this when we tried to well when we planned this trip before. Which one did we have? If you can recall, which one did we have before? Can't cancel for any reason for a cash back refund. Okay, that's the one we had here. Yeah. And so you really only got half that money back because you only had your deposit on it. And so the, the insurance amount is not refundable, just so you're aware. So that's why you only got a portion of it back because you had to have the insurance to allow you to cancel. But had you paid in full, then you would have gotten all your money back, again, minus the cost of that insurance. Right. So when is the when is the deadline for the deposit? Whenever I hold a reservation for you, it's due within seventy two hours, and then say that you wait a week or two. I don't. The price is not guaranteed until you actually book it. So if I gave you a quote today, but you're like, I'm not ready to book it. I'll book it in a couple weeks. The quote I give you today is, a, is really not valid because I can't tell you that it's going to be available in two or three weeks. 
Um, Sylvia, I have a question for you. Is Nikita um a part of the Facebook group? Nick, is Nikki a part of that? Because she didn't, I don't know if she got the information. She just asked me if we were having a meeting. <laughs> oh. So you know, I don't. She might, she might not be because it's hard to read. Um, we limited it to the hard to read family. So she okay. might, she might need to go in and request. Okay. Right. Well, I did go ahead and send her the information. I don't know if it's going to go through. Okay. The link that you, the link information that you sent. Uh huh. I kind of just forwarded it, but um, we'll see what happens. And then I can give her this information to go back and see the recording. Yeah. Uh, well, it's going to be a link, and then I can email it over to Sylvia, and then she can forward it out to everyone because I don't have everybody's okay. email addresses yet. Okay. Um, and then that way, you know, they can see all the questions that were asked tonight. Mm hmm. And the whole planning process that we just did, showing you how I do my work. Mm -hmm. Okay. How we how we make magic. <laughs> make vacation magic. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Sprinkle that up. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yeah. And then also and, I'll give you the website address, you know, to Barcelo, if, if many of you haven't looked at it already. Um, I know um, Marion has been looking at, we're going to Jamaica, and she's already been looking at the website to the resorts. She knows them front and back already. We're not going till November, but it kind of gives you a lay, lay of the land, you know, mm -hmm. where everything is and all of that. I'm going to see if I can find a map of the property, too. If I can do that, I'll send that over. They they drink short beers. I don't know if you guys like beer or not, but they're, they drink the little short ones. Have you ever mm. seen those in the grocery store? Mm -mm. Like a little Heineken? It's like this big. It's not like oh. a, a regular eight-ounce can. It's, it's yeah, different. It's a Dutch somebody, island. Yeah. So I it's like you know, they just have Heineken as their... Um, their drink, you know, it's a Dutch okay. beer. So, okay. but they'll have other type of beer too. But I just thought it was so cute. These, have you seen the little Coke cans? The mm -hmm. soda can, it's like that size. You're like, okay. that's a sip. That's a special. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be gone in a second. <laughs> but I, uh, we'll think of some more fun stuff and, and let everybody know about it too. Okay. Yep. All right. <clears throat> well, then I'll go ahead and end this recording and then I'll be oh. right back. And then um, we can send this over to everybody.